Okay, welcome everybody to Aquila Elementary School and our April Terrific Kid Ceremony. I want to thank you for coming out, family members, and uh, there's some other special people we need to thank. Um, first off, I want to thank Miss Tomlinson and Miss Peggy for their, uh, they are the TK team. They take care of Terrific Kid and all the little treats that you're going to get in the, uh, in the envelopes, students, when you get those. And uh, so I'd like to give them a quick real round of applause. And Miss Tomlinson is going to come up here and uh, speak for just a second. I also want to thank uh, Kiwanis because without Kiwanis, uh, there would be no terrific kids. So we greatly appreciate our Kiwanians being here. And uh, that's Hank Kyle and Miss Marianne Kyle. And Miss Marianne might have a few things to say for you. I want to say thank you to all the parents that are out here today parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles. We are so thrilled to have you here because. You are what makes terrific kids. Without you, we wouldn't have a program because you have brought us these wonderful, wonderful students that we can recognize. Kiwanis is all about children, and we love recognizing students who go beyond their best to further themselves, to work to their very, very best of their abilities. And they get to school every day. They come in on time. They go right to work. They're going to be the citizens of tomorrow. So again, we thank you. And I'm going to say, I can't believe this is our last program for this year because it feels like we just got started. So again, thank you for coming out. I want to recognize our secretary out here, too. Rebecca Gamble is with us today. So um, have a wonderful summer. And we'll see you again next year doing Terrific Kids. <clears throat> It's always such a pleasure for all of us here at school to be able to do this because it's not about us and it is about you and it is about your kids. And it seems like it always happens. It's kind of crazy and busy and it always is that way. We know that in our lives it gets crazy and busy, but that's okay. But we still know that we have terrific kids, we have terrific families, and if for one moment in time that child was terrific, that's where our teachers nominate those kids. Now. Today or tomorrow, they may not be that way. But right now, at that moment, they've made that progress. Because we were terrific sometimes, too. And we really appreciate all the hard work that's gone in. We appreciate you coming, the Kiwanis. And I want to thank the Kiwanis personally for all your hard work. And we have something for you. And also our wonderful person behind that camera that he comes each time to take the picture. So thank you again. And y'all have a great week. Okay, so for some of you, you've probably been Terrific Kid before, but for those of you who haven't, uh, let me explain how we do this. Uh, we're going to call up our students one grade level at a time, and they'll come up and stand next to the Florida flag over here. And uh, then we will call up individual students and read what their teachers say that is so terrific about them. And, um, and really just have a great time. I want to thank you once again, family members, for coming out. And uh, let's go ahead and get our pre-K and kindergarten terrific kids to come stand next to the flag. Pre-K and kindergarten, come on up. Okay, our first terrific kid is a March makeup, and it's Samantha Sanchez. Come on up, Samantha. I have picked Samantha Sanchez as my terrific kid. Samantha is very sweet and friendly to everyone she meets. She plays and works well with her classmates. Samantha follows all the classroom rules and always tries her best. She works hard and is a very good reader and is fantastic at math. I'm excited to continue to watch her grow as she becomes ready for first grade. Keep up the great work, Samantha. Love, Miss Caridi. <laughs> From Miss Cromwell's class, we have Alexandra Ahrens. <laughs> Alexandra is a terrific kid for the month of March. 
It's a pleasure to have Alexandra in class. She is excited about being in kindergarten and learning new things. I can count on Alexandra to be an active participant in class. She does her best to complete her classwork and homework. She is respectful, caring, considerate, and always willing to help. Alexandra works and plays well with her classmates. Thank you, Alexandra, for being a terrific kid. Hang on, baby. Get this. Now for Miss Carey's class for April, we have Cole Ellingham. Miss Caridi writes, I have chosen Cole Ellingham as my April terrific kid. Cole is a very sweet and happy young man. He has shown so much growth in his behaviors and academics this year. I am very proud at how far he has come since the first day of school. Cole is very helpful and is always willing to work with a partner. Keep up the wonderful work, Cole. Love, Miss Caridi. Kimberly Thompson from Miss Cromwell's class. Kimberly is the terrific kid for the month of April. It's a joy to have Kimberly as a student this year. She comes in with a smile and an attitude of, I'm ready to learn. I can count on Kimberly to be an active participant in class. She is respectful to adults and kind and considerate to her classmates. Her willingness to learn helps her complete her classwork and her homework. She is a great example of what a kindergartner should be. Thank you, Kimberly, for being a terrific kid. Miss Cromwell. Good job, Kimberly. And finally, we have Layla Davis. Layla is our terrific kid as she brings much joy to our classroom each day. She comes to school excited to learn and strives to always do her best. She is a sweet and polite young lady who is willing to lend a helping hand to her classmates and her teacher. Our classroom is a better place because Layla helps us to all be super terrific people. Thank you, Layla and family, for being our terrific kid, Miss Tomlinson. Good job, Layla. Okay, at this time we need our first grade terrific kids to come on over to the flag, please. First, we have Alyssa Creech from Miss Parrish's class. For this month's terrific kid, I have selected Alyssa Creech. Alyssa comes to school ready to work and ready to learn. Alyssa tries her best on every assignment she is given and is very helpful team member whenever they need her. Alyssa is prepared to do what is asked of her and more every day. Alyssa is also one of the most respectful, sweet, appreciative students in our class. Alyssa can always be heard saying, please, thank you, yes ma'am, no ma'am. Alyssa is friendly to all of her classmates and her teachers. I know when I see Alyssa in the morning that she is going to try her best, work very hard in class, and she is going to have great behavior. Her great behavior and hard work are one of the many reasons why I'm so happy to call her a member of my class. We love you, Alyssa. You truly are a terrific kid. From Miss This Class, we have Kai Carrier. Kai is a terrific kid. He is a great student and is a good example to his classmates. I appreciate how he is always engaged in what we're doing or talking about in class. He loves to learn and is kind to others. I can always count on Kai to do what he's supposed to do. Kai loves to learn and loves to help others. I am confident that he will be successful in life because of his desire to learn and do well in school. He is an asset to our class and definitely is a terrific kid. Keep up the good work, Kai. Good job. And from Miss Fuller's class, we have Summer Robles. For this month's terrific kid, I have selected Summer Robles. Summer comes to school with a smile on her face and ready to learn. Summer tries her very best on every assignment she is given and is a very helpful team member whenever they need her. Summer is also one of the most respectful, sweet, and appreciative students in our class. Summer is always sweet and kind to her classmates and adults as, as she encounters them. I know when I see Summer in the morning that she is going to try her best and work very hard in class. Keep up the great work, Summer. Miss Fuller. Good job, Summer. Okay, we need our second graders to come on over. Our second grade, terrific kids.
Our first second grader comes from Miss Bowers class and it is Chloe Perry. <laughs> Chloe is a very sweet young lady with a kind heart. She never hesitates to help her classmates whenever it is needed. She loves school and always strives to do her very best. I am very proud of Chloe and grateful for all she brings to our class. Keep up the great work, Miss Clark. Next up we have from Miss Perry's class, Joseph Basili. Joseph is a leader who motivates his classmates with encouraging words and positive comments. He is enthusiastic about learning and he works very hard every day. Joseph is our word wizard. He connects words from stories we read to other books, videos, and subjects. He is excited about trying new activities and is determined to complete assignments. Success is important to Joseph. His confidence and persistence inspire those around him. We are grateful that he is part of our team, Miss Perry and second graders. And from Miss Winfrey's class, we have Martavius Ruth. Martavius has been chosen as the terrific kid for Miss Winfrey's second grade class. Martavius comes to school every day with a bright smile and a positive attitude. He is a positive student that tries his very best at everything he does. Martavius is early to class every day. He gets right on the computer and does eye ready or is getting a book and reading so that he can do AR. He is also a great friend to each of his classmates and helps anyone out when they need it. A role model student for sure. All of the expectations I have set for my classroom, Martavius not only meets them, but exceeds them. I am blessed to have him in my room. Keep up the fabulous work. Great job, Martavius. Okay, now we need our third grade terrific kids to come on up to the flag, please. First up from Mr. Guzman's class, we have Ava Perez. <laughs> Ava is Mr. Guzman's terrific kid for the month of April 2015. She is very deserving of this honor because she is truly terrific. Each morning before school, Ava is the first student at my door. She comes in with a smile on her face offering to sharpen pencils, pass out papers, or do anything she can to help out. Once the day begins, she gets to work and gives it her best. Ava loves to talk and does so every chance she gets. Her spunky personality adds great spice to our classroom family. I can't count the times I've had to walk away, unable to contain my laughter from something she has said or done. Ava's family should be very proud of the wonderful daughter they are raising. I'm very proud to have her in my class and look forward to every day, never knowing what she's going to say next. Thank you, Ava, for being truly terrific. Keep up the great work, Miss McHugh. Also, we have Caleb Reavers from Mr. Guzman's class. <laughs> Caleb Reavers is the Mr. Guzman's terrific kid for the month of April 2015. He is very deserving of this honor because he is truly terrific. Caleb comes to school on time every day prepared to learn and always does his homework. He works very hard and tries his best on everything he does. As a result, Caleb has shown so much growth and improvement this year. Caleb's family should be very proud of the wonderful young man they are raising. I'm very proud to have him in my class and look forward every day to knowing that I get to work with such a neat kid. I know he will grow up to be an amazing person. Thank you, Caleb, for being truly terrific. Keep up the great work. Love, Mr. Guzman. Thank you. And from Ms. Modell's class, we have Cheyenne Parker. It is an honor to nominate Cheyenne Parker as Terrific Kid. Cheyenne provides a wonderful example for all of her classmates to follow. She is very helpful, kind, and compassionate to everyone. She is very respected and admired by her peers because of her joyful attitude and friendly personality. Her excitement about learning inspires everyone around her, which makes her a wonderful addition to our class. She is a pleasure to teach and a joy to work with. Congratulations, Cheyenne. Good job. Okay, now we need our fourth grade terrific kids to come on up to the flag, please.
Well, we have one fourth grade terrific kid as somebody else sitting here today. So Maverick Jordan, come on up. Maverick was chosen terrific kid because of his outstanding character and his excellent citizenship qualities. We're extremely proud to have Maverick represent our class as terrific kid for the month of April. Maverick is an exceptional young man who is a model student, a leader in our classroom. He is thoughtful, kind, and respectful to his classmates as well as his teacher. Maverick enters our classroom each day with an energy that shouts, I can get it done, you can do it as well. If we work together as a team, there is no challenge daunting enough to stop us. Maverick possesses an optimistic energy and a dazzling smile that sets the tone for our day. Maverick is responsible and works hard to achieve academic excellence. He turns in his homework and completes his classwork each day while maintaining a positive attitude. Maverick is a great team leader and a problem solver. He is always willing to share his knowledge with any classmate who needs help. Maverick's gentle disposition and delightful sense of humor adds just the right spice to our classroom's excuse me, receipt for success. We love you, Maverick. This is your day. You are one special, terrific kid, Miss Johnson and the fabulous fourth graders. Good job, Maverick. Good job. Okay, at this time we need our fifth grade terrific kids to come on up. Okay, first off we have Kaylin Smith from Miss Mathis's class. Kaylin is very deserving of this honor. She begins each day with a friendly greeting, a big smile, and is always ready to learn. I know I can count on Kaylin to do whatever needs to be done. She always tries her hardest at understanding math concepts, and she always has a positive attitude, even when the skills are challenging. Kaylin is a friend to everyone. She is sweet, caring, and a pleasure to be around. She always finds the best in everyone and can work with anyone. Kaylin is also very responsible. She always has her homework completed and tries her very best. We are lucky to have her as a Mathis owl. Good job, Kaylin. Next up from Mr. Stevens' class, we have Alexis Hutchinson. I am very pleased to name Miss Alexis Hutchinson as terrific kid for the month of April in Mr. Stevens' class. There are many qualities which make Alexis a good candidate for terrific kid. She is a wonderful reader and always ready to help her partners. Alexis is excellent at organizing her thoughts on paper while making graphic organizers and is becoming a pro at identifying figurative language. She is quick to assist her classmates if they need help and is always very involved and talkative during classroom discussions. She takes a real interest in her own decisions. I am proud of you, Alexis. You are terrific. From Mr. Torres' class, we, we have Denisha McClendon. Denisha follows directions and is an excellent helper with our classroom, especially with our pets. Denisha, follow your dreams and never give up. You have a bright future ahead of you. Always believe. I am so proud of you and so happy you are getting this recognition because you deserve it. Mr. Torres. Good job, Good job Denisha. <laughs> and finally, Brennan Ever for Miss Thacker's class. Miss Thacker proudly presents April's terrific kid, Brennan Everett. This award is presented to Brennan because of his outstanding improvement in reading. He has worked so hard this year and has made tremendous strides in both his reading comprehension and his reading fluency. He comes to class with a positive attitude and always tries to do his best. As a result of his diligence, Brennan's reading fluency has improved by more than 40 correct words per minute. That is truly outstanding progress. Congratulations, Brennan. You are a terrific kid. Okay, well, I'd like to thank everyone once again for being here to support our terrific kids. Before you go, I need to tell you a couple things. First off, we'd like to get all of our terrific kids back up here for one big group picture. Uh, everyone will receive one of these pictures. Also, you're going to receive the individual. And you can watch a video of this presentation. It will be on the Putnam County Schools YouTube website, so you can watch that, and it will be up as early as next week. Thank you again for coming out, and we will see you soon. Look around the 
changes catch your eye and you come to realize one can make a difference reach out stand out find out what it's all about see it all stand tall be there to catch them when they fall Life is bigger than just one mm -hmm. But one can make a difference Nothing changes quite as much as change And the things we rearrange Trying to make a difference Reach down, deep down Look at the sky of another town Listen well, the wind will tell you Something good is in the air oh, Life is bigger than just one oh, But one can make a difference Bigger than just one, but one can make a difference. 